From this video, you will learn how an attacker is able to access the internal files and also perform SSRF attack on big blue button web conference platform. Being said that, let's roll the intro. Hello, I am Pawn Jaswal and welcome to my channel. This channel is made for all the security enthusiasts who are eager to learn how to exploit various vulnerabilities. For more content just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you are the first one to be notified when the new videos are published. First, I will brief you about what is big blue button followed by file disclosure and SSRF vulnerability. Big blue button is a web conferencing system similar to Zoom, Google Meet, MS Team, etc. which supports real-time sharing of audio, video, screen, files. The best part is it is an open source software specially designed for online learning and education purpose. Talking about the vulnerability, Big Blue Button prior to 2.2.7 is vulnerable to file disclosure and server-side request for the attack. An authenticated user who is participant of a web conference and has an appropriate permission or role is able to upload presentation. Via that, it is able to access internal files and also conduct SSRF attack via crafted URL in Excel. Field. The security risk here is the application accepts various formats to be used for this slide. Among them, Big Blue Button accepts LibreOffice document. This document uses XML based open document file for Office application. The ODF file format supports using the XML link language Xlink to create links between the document. When local files are referenced using Xlink, the content of the respective file are included into the generated PDF file. When Big Blue Button converts the ODF into LibreOffice, this leads to arbitrary file disclosure vulnerability. Similarly, by embedding Xlink to remote local Location, and when a document is converted, this allows to perform server-side request. I have installed the vulnerable version of Big Blue Button application specific to above illustrated issue on Docker container. I have pushed this to a Docker image on public repo. The link to the image is in the description. If you are interested to dive deep into the application and its vulnerability, feel free to pull the image and explore. Starting off with the demonstration of the issue, this is how Big Blue Button application looks like. The interface is pretty good. I have already set up a demo meeting here and I am going to enter my name so that I can join the participant. Once I click join, it will directly fetch me. After joining the particular meeting, since I am the first participant to join, I have by default the presenter role and I can directly upload the file. But if you are the second or the other presenter, you can ask for the presenter role. Once you get that, simply you need to come here and click on the plus icon where you have an option to upload a presentation. Click on the upload presentation and this is the interface where you have to upload the file. Before I have to upload the file, I am going to create a sample file through which I I will be extracting the etc password from the internal system. To create a sample file, I am going to use LibreOffice and here I am going to create a new file for a text document and without giving any data, I am simply going to save it as it is with the file name called as sample and I can close this particular file. After creating the sample ODT file, I need to unzip this file and after unzipping this, we need to edit content.xml. For that, I am going to use gedit to edit this particular file. Here, we are going to replace the office body entire thing with our custom code and this is our custom code where we are using a file command to fetch etc password i'm going to copy this particular file go back to the gedit and replace the entire office body and i'm going to save it and close this particular document after that I'm, i will remove the sample odt file and again g back to a odt file here i'm going to rename that to a file called modified.odt for all the files now i have moved back to the presentation slide where i need to upload a file i'm going to click on browse file and click on the modified ODT and once I click on upload it will start uploading the file and convert the file to PDF document. As soon as the conversion is successful we can see that we are able to achieve the ETC password. Let me zoom it. After zooming it we can see that we have got the ETC password. Similarly by changing the xlink instead of file if we give the internal or external URL we can also access the particular resource that we want. In this way we can conduct the SSRF request. Being said that I would end the demonstration here. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned something new today, please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For any doubts, suggestions or advice, kindly post it into the comment section. I will make sure to reply to the comments. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. This will encourage me to contribute more to InfoSec and Cybersecurity community.